Hey everyone, Dave Putz from JKP Holdings. I want to reach out to you guys to show you some things we've added to our, what we call resource directory spreadsheet to help you guys along with where things are at and show you some of the new things we've added. Uh, we're excited about things as they're going along and helping you become the best person you possibly can. Please let us know if there's something that we should add to it or if there's something you're looking for. Uh, we would love to add some things and uh, fit whatever your needs are um, and share our experiences uh, as sometimes that's difficult to do not knowing what you guys are looking for um, and what you guys need so as you probably can see from our page we have a whole new menu set up um, some people get lost with this uh, it, this menu here has a simple uh, little quick drop down here of things you can go to our Facebook page through clicking this link and then these tabs here show you some YouTube video uh, and audio links, as well as some resource directories, available assets, and a bunch of stuff I'll get through in a minute. We've covered it previously, but we've laid it out a little different for you guys to be more uh, accessible to. So I can click through here and then bring me right to the tab if I want to. Um, so let's start again, resource directory. We've uh, shared this before. These are the Facebook posts or things we've found useful for ourselves, we wanna make sure you guys have seen it. Uh, you can see our assets available uh, through our, our website as well as through our groups. Uh, we can also show you where our NDA is. If you go to our assets post, you'll see our scrub list. That scrub list is a list of assets minus the address prior to you signing the NDA. To get access to that great list, we have available about 145 assets currently. We're hopefully be adding a few more on there soon. Um, you can fill out our NDA and you'll get access to that full list. To go to the NDA, you just click this link that pops up once you click on the box. Next is the group directory. That group directory is a list of everyone who signed up to be part of the directory. That directory is for use for two reasons. If you want to reach out to somebody that's local to an asset you're looking at and get some local knowledge, it's a fabulous way to do that. We've heard some great feedback with that. Second, that is a great resource to connect with people that may be local to you. So if somebody's in your hometown area, why don't you connect with them and just mentor with them or you just network with them? Our next is, uh, topic was servicing fee. What we found was that most people either don't know where to find a service they're at or don't know how to compare them. We were able to compile a whole list of different servicers their fee schedules, and where they're licensed or not licensed to. Valuable, valuable thing right there. Next, resources. From agents to servicers to attorneys and, and state order. Once you fill out the form and add at least one resource, bookmark the uh, link that gets sent to you, and you can reuse that link as many times as you want. We want to make sure that you, those who are adding to it get to see it. Those who are not adding to it, you got to add something to it because I don't want to give away information that people share with us without you at least adding or contributing something to it. We also have a time value calculator, which is a bit confusing, but I, I think people who uh, need to learn about what a time value calculator does is right there. Here's some of our popular posts we've had in our Facebook group. K K K KDK services is a great for all kind of uh, recording documents, uh, assignments, reviewing things, um, and, and document control. Next, force place insurance notif notification forms. Those are forms you need to send out to borrowers to notify them if you're going to be placing force place insurance on there. It also tells you the timelines of when you need to do that. We also add the BK fees chart, the newest one, December 2019. They've increased their fees. So make sure you're adding that to your bid calculator and uh, including it in any bid you're making. If it, the asset's in BK, make sure you're, you're increasing your cost for relief of stay. Next, we have a roll call. This is a really great way to post who you are, a little advertising for yourself, and showing where you're at. Remember, this group is not meant for bulletin board posts. We want you interacting, posting questions, answering questions, 
And then if you're doing those kind of things and you're being a great valuable resource to the group, we have no problem with you adding your personal branding and marketing to the group. Now for the big change, we have a full spreadsheet tab here that's linked to what our webinars are. You've seen that probably before, but you can go through the list of the different webinars we've had and different how to's from how to separate Facebook personal pages to uh, friends, uh, to business friends. Sometimes you want to post to your wall, but you don't want your family seeing it. It's a great video on how to separate that so you can post to those who you feel want to see your content because if you don't, they could unfollow you and then you lose them completely. Uh, how to download our assets. Once you get into our asset list, some people are getting frustrated, you know, Dave, I can't download it. Yes, you can. Um, it's very simple. It's two steps and you can get downloaded. We do make the, you do bookmark the actual URL, but once you have it set up for URL, you can go back to as many times you want, re-download it. Amazing. You can set notifications, of course. That's a way to, uh, in any of our spreadsheets we share online, you can set a notification at any time we make a change or something to add to it, especially the group directory, you get notified of a change. Some spreadsheet tips and tricks we've covered previously that kind of help you along with spreadsheets. Check that out and see if that works for you. Next are webinars. So we've taken our webinars that we've previously done and posted on YouTube, which are been on it for a while. This is the state of time it takes for the, uh, that the webinar is and the link to it. What we've added to it is over here. What we've created from the asked from others who've connected with us and at either conferences or online or on the phone is Dave, we'd love to find a way that your webinars is something we can listen to while we're driving or just maybe working out. Uh, we thought of ways of doing that and couldn't really figure it out until we realized that we can use a podcast to do that. We're not doing the traditional podcast of a weekly format. Um, there's some great groups who already do that, which is wonderful. However, we wanted to present our, our webinar stuff in a audio format. A podcast, like you see on the screen, shows you how to do that, right? So this, all you do is click on this link and you go right to the actual audio file for that webinar. Forest Place Insurance is one you definitely need to check out if you haven't yet. Up top here are different links to, if you're a subscriber to the podcast cast or Spotify, you go right to there and that's our channel. You can subscribe to it, you can link to it, and then you can find that, that audio file that's linked to the, the webinar or how to's directly there. So we wanted to share with you guys the amazing use of these uh, podcasts and how we're able to show you guys an audio file um, so you can listen to things when you may not be able to watch them. Thanks for joining us, and we look forward to hearing from you guys soon.